welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Joanna and I am an interpreter. Before I start, please guys follow me on Instagram myth-interpretations. On Facebook, Mirror Interpretation Todorova. I have a group called Mindful Interpreter. You can add yourself there. There is a lot of videos that will help you to be a better interpreter and another suggestions. You can follow me on LinkedIn on Mirror Interpretation Todorova. Use hashtag Mindful Interpreter or Mirror Interpretation Todorova's Life or Meet Interpreters. Okay guys, before I start again, I want to say thank you Rosa for requesting this video. Uh, as you guys know, my goal was to create a full series of video about medical interpreter terminology. So Rosa requested me to do a series of video about cancer. So I will explain you guys, I am going to talk about what cancer is and the most common treatments and a type of car cancer that you can encounter in your daily interpreter sessions. I am going to share those, uh, this information and you guys are going to encounter most of the words that I am going to use today. So, uh, medical terminology related to cancer. First of all, before we start, what is a cancer? This is a name of a group of more than 100 disease that consists in cells grow out of control. Or this is our own cells that start to develop and grow out of control which exactly is expressed that our old cells do not die instead they continue growing and create abnormal cells or tissue tissues those cells may create a mass or tissue that is called tumor tumor can be benign and myeline the benign is good tumor and myelin is bad or aggressive tumor so we have few very particular uh, procedures that will encounter with people that want to check if they do have a cancer first of all is biopsy i believe i already talked in one of my medical terminology videos what biopsy biopsy is using a special instrument called scope with the help of which is remove a small amount of a tissue of a body organ tissue and this small amount of a skin or organ part or a liver or whatever is it is sent in the lab where is uh, examined okay then we do scanners, different type, MRI, uh, tomography, any other kind of imagining that can show the tumor. Uh, so I am going to give you the most, uh, how to say, the, the most common type of, first of all, let's talk about the treatment of the cancer. We have a few a very very common treatment and you as an interpreter often you are going to do those treatments interpreting from the doctor to the patient and explaining those the first one is a chemotherapy okay this is an anti-cancer drug therapy what are the symptoms when you do chemotherapy? They could be nausea, vomiting, sick in the stomach, throw up. This depends on what kind of medicine are used. Normally, there is different type with chemotherapy. Some go through the IV, some goes with the pills, and so on and so on. I'm not going to go in detail there. I will just let you know, guys, that this is a drug called cytotoxins. These cytotoxin drugs are normally a poisonous drugs that in small amount could be beneficial. These drugs are used to kill this tumor creation or overgrowth cells. Together with the good cells, of course, 
they affect the normal cells as well. The chemotherapy is between four and six weeks, and normally they do two, three, two maximum of four rounds of chemotherapy. If the person can stand it, because the side effects will kick in. The second type of treatment for a cancer is called radiotherapy. Radiotherapy, egg therapy, x-ray, and so, and so, and so, and so. This is a special ionizing uh, radiation or a liquid, let's call it a liquid or a medicine, that is used together with the waves, with special waves. And this combination of, uh, it have a special name, but I'm just gonna cut it, guys. It's like this special chemical when react with the oxygen, together under some certain type of light it give a special effect a special oxygen actually something like an oxygen that kills uh, this uh, um, but this um, tumor creation or these cells uh, again about the side effect as the first nausea vomiting we all know about that again the hair loss uh, some patients with radiology, radiotherapy have no negative uh, effects. Some of them have all of them. Some of them have very few. For everybody, the side effects are individual, so we don't know uh, what kind they can be. Again, with the bad cells, we're also killing the good cells. So also we have fatigue, nausea, vomiting, tiredness, hair loss. They talk that the hair loss is temporary, that will grow uh, once the chemotherapy is over. You guys have heard about it. I'm just going to keep that on. Okay. The number three and the number four, this is a new age therapy. I call them new age because uh, I, I would say that they are the ones that I like the most for a different reason. Uh, first of all, it's called protodynamic therapy for cancer or PDT. So using a drug called protosensitive agent and a light under a special light produce oxygen that kills nearby cells or freeze them. The protodynamic therapy, guys, you're going to use on a people that have some moles on the face or something like that. For elderly people, it's used quite a lot. In, instead, radiotherapy use again the waves but the procedure is a little bit older and I believe uh, the chemotherapy and radiotherapy compare to protodynamic therapy and biological therapy are the first one, the oldest one. They are discovered in 1940s. The biologic therapy or immunotherapy is the newest thing when is uh, your own body cells or immune system is boosted and provoked in a way to fight your own uh, cancer. So again, we have chemotherapy, we're using the drugs, radiotherapy again, uh, ionizing radiation to kill the malignant cells. Then we have protodynamic therapy, this is the one that frees the cells, and then immun immunotherapy or uh, Biologic therapy is the one that is used to fight uh, your own immune system, fight the cancer. Okay, said that this is the most common ways to treat cancer. Of course, they add some diet and so on. Now I'm going to talk about fibroids. The fibroids are very common. Benin tumor that you can be find easily in women and children. Um, this is a specific cells and tissues that grows around the wall of the uterus. They are not uh, clear why. Sometimes there is no symptoms. Sometimes there is a pain period, uh, problem urinating, often urinating, painful sexual activities, 
lower back pain, um, some kind of discharges, or even though they talk about abortions, early labor, bleeding between periods, there could be a lot of symptoms with that. Uh, this could be helped with medicines or surgery. Again, medicine or surgery. The second benign tumor or creation, if we call a cell growth, is called ovarian cyst. There could be many types of cysts. Uh, we have heard about it. Some women have it in the breast and so on and so on. This is a fluid full sac in the ovary. It's not harming and sometimes go by itself. Uh, if it's painful, the birth control pills help with that. If it's not going away by itself, often uh, it's removed by surgery. Okay, so that was the most, uh, the, the general thing, the basics that we need to know about cancer. We talk about the most common treatment of the cancer and what is fibroids and what is a cyst. Please stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to give you the number one, two, three, seven, about, I believe, nine, the nine most common cancer uh, situation, cancer problem, cancer disease. Uh, again, guys, I repeat all the symptoms that I mentioned here, the procedures, the treatment, the symptoms. This is your terminology. You're going to talk about this with the doctor every day. You need to know those in English and in the target language. Once again, thank you for being here. That was everything from Ioana, Mirror Interpretation to the Roba. If you do need an interpreter, do not hesitate to call me. You have my contact in the description box below. Thank you for being here. That was everything. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.